Yo, what's up guys, it's Vader, and I know what you're thinking, why am I looking at Warhammer stuff on your channel, Vader? And the reason is, I'm actually getting back into Warhammer, I recently, um purchased a bunch of space marines as you're seeing on screen now I have three space marines and one chaos and I think the one that's got the plasma cannon is a blood angel and then the one in the middle is a black templar and the one that's the blood raven is actually one that I'm actually in the process of painting and finishing it's still got a long way to go but yeah made them look like a blood raven because you actually can well, can. And I think, um, I don't really know the Legion, I think it's the Black Legion for the um, the Chaos Space Marine. But I just basically wanted to do this video today, um, showing you guys what is potentially coming up for reviews. So basically all four of these figures are going to be like, coming up for review in a few days time. I also purchased a... I think it was the ult the NECA Ultimate Snake Predator as well, so I've got that to review as well. But I just thought I'd give you guys a look at these because like I mentioned, I'm gonna be trying to get back into Warhammer. Um because I saw McFarlane toys make these, but I never knew that they actually did ones that you could obviously paint as well. Like they don't they did ones that were like artist proof, so you could basically like make your own and stuff so that's basically why i had one that wasn't painted and they also do ones from the game dark tide warhammer 40k dark tide and this is the game right here they also do the figures i think it was the organ i think it was called or orgarin or something the name of the um, the brute the big brute guys called um a Cassican squad um Imperial Guard and I think it was um a, I'm trying to remember the other one's name, like a a corrupt Imperial Guard as well. Or I don't a heretic guard I think they're called. I don't I don't really know exactly what they're actually called, um what the figure is actually called, but you fight a lot of them in this. And this is like some of the weapons that you actually do get with the figures as well. And I didn't realise that the um the one that you actually get with the Space Marine is actually classified as two handed. Because you normally see the Space Marine ones using them one handed, but that's it there. Eviscerator, heavy eviscerator um, chainsaw, and this is basically a two handed weapon. And it's actually one of the weapons that are on my Space Marines right now. But I didn't realise um, that the, it's actually meant for two, like, it's like meant for two handed on a, obviously a regular Imperial Guard, but like for the Space Marines, they just use it one handed, or they actually use it um, two handed as well. But I've only ever seen them use it one-handed. I mean, it's a fucking space ring we're talking about. But these are some of the guns that you can get in Dark Tide. I might do a video on this game, like a little, re like a little review on it and my thoughts. Because I've actually been really enjoying it. And obviously we have the plasma gun as well. I had to repaint my plasma gun a little bit. But I might go over it again. Add some white tones into it. And then go over it with a gloss vanish just to bring that out as if it's like get the energy um, pulsating on it and this is obviously my favourite gun is the bolter I didn't realise that they had more than one um, type of bolter this is the sh spearhead bolt gun space marines usually um, have these I don't even remember the um, what's it called like the cartridge size like how actually big the bullet actually is but apparently it's like a really oversized bullet and this is obviously the um the armor that you can get and this is the other figure that you can get this is the algrins um this is like the algrins stuff i'm looking at but you can actually get a figure of this one as well 
unpainted and painted as well from McFarlane toys and obviously you can um, paint it however you want. That's what I like about this stuff as well because it's like it's kind of like they're like catered it towards the people that enjoyed painting the little miniatures but it's also good for people that are um, it's also good for people that are like trying to like get into it this is, I think, a good starting point. They're not, a, they're not actually that um, badly priced as well. They're really, like, cheap. Like, I saw, I think it was, like, the Imperial Guardsmen. They were, like, um, I think it was, like, £16 or something. Or, like, one was, like, £10 and another one was, like, um, £12 or something. But they do like the Orcs as well. And you've got the Sisters of Battle. Try to think what else they have, and a bunch of other like Chaos and Space Marines as well. I'd say the Space Marines and the Chaos ones are like the most that they've made because they do a bunch of like ones from the other chapters as well, like the Ultramarines, um, Space Wolves, and obviously you've got the Blood Angels there. That's a Blood Angel here, and you can see what I mean by going over it again with the um, the paint there. I did try and repaint some of their weapons as well. And obviously this one's one that I got that was completely unpainted. That's why his shoulders are still needing a little paint over. But yeah, like I mentioned, I'm really liking how these are actually looking. They look, they actually, I think they're in, in scale as well. Like if you do buy the other figures as well, they're actually in scale. Like the Space Marines are meant to be like huge. And I think the Imperial Guardsmen are like, um, like about, I think it's like six inches. These are like about seven or eight inches, these guys. So they're, they're pretty tall. They're very heavy as well, especially the one that isn't paint, uh, wasn't actually painted that I actually had to paint myself. It's actually a good hobby as well because, like I mentioned, I never really got into like the little miniatures, but I was like a big fan of them. But I never like painted any of them. But I was like any Warhammer. Just I just never like collected the little miniatures, but a bunch of my friends. Um, they had the little miniatures and they would paint them and stuff. But I always wanted to get into them to like paint the little miniatures, but I just I just couldn't. So this is a good compromise for me because a lot of the like the the big Warhammer people as well do actually collect these and they actually like um, they do actually like make them into like more accurate um, depictions of how they actually look. Like I mentioned, I will be doing an actual review on each of these. I'm just like sh um, doing like an actual kind of like preview on what's um, coming up. So it'll be like the free space marines and then it'll be the chaos space marine. And then obviously that um, ultimate snake predator by NECA that'll be getting reviewed as well. Can't wait for that. Because when I saw that, I'm like, I need to get that. I need to get that one because it's one of the ones from the uh, the Lost Tribe, the Lost Tribe. Sorry, that I haven't got. So I definitely did need that one. But yeah, I'm really liking how these have actually turned out, and um, with the little uh, minor repaints that I've done on their weapons and stuff. Like you can see, like the bullet casings on the Space Marines. Um, bolt gun there. I did that and then obviously um, painted the little um, bandage that he put around the um, like the strap that he put around for the magazines. So yeah, but anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it, um, just not with me talking. So as ever guys, take care and thank you so much for um, watching. As ever guys, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys, thanks.